Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here again with my 2018 Sportsman 850. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to change your brake pads. Uh, the same applies as what I'm about to show you to machines dated as far back as 2000. Like my Polaris Sportsman, uh, 2000 Sportsman 500 has the exact same brake pads as the video that I'm going to be showing you right now. So the same applies here to this machine as it does to previous Polaris machines as well. So if that's what you have, you're going to learn something here today as well. Let's get started. Okay guys, I do apologize. There's a little bit of excess background noise. It's about 500 degrees where I am. So I have the, uh, the AC and a couple of fans running. Hopefully it's not too inconvenient. Start by removing these two caliper holder bolts. They are a 15 millimeter head and there's two of them. Slide up. Remove a five millimeter Allen head on the back of the caliper, just the top pin. It's not very tight. So you have enough range to push this back and slide your pads out just like that. Now what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do Take a pair of C channel pliers and push that piston back very gently. It should fall back no problem. Once you've got that back all the way. New pads, and slide them in like you slid the old ones out. One, and two. Now we're going to go ahead and slide this back on. To the road, keeping a cautious effort to split the pads open so they could obviously saddle the rotor. Go ahead and put your two bolts back in. I wouldn't be tightening those with the gun. I'm gonna tighten with the wrench. Now we can go ahead and put our very small, I guess you can call it a pin stopper, because you can't get enough travel out of your caliper to take pads out without removing that. And just seat it with a little tightening. Again, not very tight here at all, guys. That's it. And now we have new brake pads installed on the right front. Now we can go ahead and hang our wheel because this side is comfy. Well you guys, that side is all I'm going to show you guys for the purpose of this video. The other side is exactly the same. See I have two new pads here to go on the other side. I don't want to bore you to death, but the same applies here. I'm sure you'll do it just fine on the side as well. Put a little bit of lube on your pads, where your pins, where they ride on the pins, or vice versa, you can put a little bit of brake lube on the pins so that these flow nice and easy. I hope you have the confidence to tackle this on your own. 
And now you should have good stopping power for when you're riding full throttle, like you should always be doing anyways. Leave me a comment below. If you guys like these type of videos and they help you out, let me know so I'll make more of them. Okay? Like, subscribe. Take care.